which order pairs in the solution set the following system of inequalities? Well, here I think the graphing calculator is, is something that is really valuable. Um, although with this particular case, these are fairly easy to graph by hand, I want to use a graphing calculator so we get a sense of how this works. So here on the graphing calculator, we're going to enter these functions by pressing y equals. So y equals for y1, it's going to be 0.5x. Now there is an x button on here if you haven't noticed. Um, but here you'll see a bunch of symbols, x, t, theta, n. But that's the x. So 0.5x plus 4. Uh, but this is y equals 0.5x plus 4. You can see it here on the graph, right? But we don't want that. We want y is less than that. So when y is equal to 1 half x plus 4, that makes the line. But when it's less than 1 half x plus 4, it's everything shaded below the line. So here, if we scroll to the left on our graphing calculator, to this region over here, we can change it from a line to whatever we want. So if you hit enter, right, you get different options here. Here, see this triangle here shading above? We want to shade below, right? That's the option right there. And now when we graph, you can see it shades below the line. So essentially, remember that the line itself is the balance between y and 1 half x plus 4. If y is less than that, it's this entire region below the line. Now we do the same thing for the next graph, except it's greater than or equal to. Now, I don't think that the graphing calculator can distinguish between greater than, just greater than, and greater than or equal to. But let's just scroll through the options, because I can't remember exactly if it does above, below, and then no, it does not. Okay, so here, let me just go to the above function this time. So the upper region is now shaded. So y is greater than or equal to negative x, so negative x plus 1. Enter, and we graph. So here you can see that right, the solution for, for both inequalities is the area where the, the the shaded region is darkest. That's because it's where both lines have a shaded region. So here on the graphing calculator, you can scroll to see the points that are in this region. But I think you could see that, for example, 3, negative 5, right? If we go to 3, oops, 3 about here, and then negative 5, we go below the first line. But below the, the shaded region, so it doesn't work. And that, and that just means that um, if we were to plug it into this first equation here, if we were to plug 3 in, right, we'll plug this in first, that's 3 is x, it's 1 half times 3 plus 4. 1 half times 3 is 0.5, plus 4 equals 4.5. Now is 4.5 greater than y? Yes. Um, if, if y is negative 5. All right, that's true. What about the next equation? Is negative 3, because it's negative x, plus 1 less than or equal to negative 5? Well, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, um, which is greater than negative 5. So it doesn't fit in both inequalities. So you could test the points out, I'm just saying, by plugging them into both and seeing if it's true. Is the x value when you plug it in, does it create an expression that fits the inequality in relation to the other variable. And this one does not. And if we go through it, right, 4, 0 is a great candidate. You can see it right here. And they, they usually try to make it pretty friendly to find the point. 4 and 0 is in your shaded region, so that's the answer. But let's see what that looks like, even without graphing, how we can plug that in. In the first uh, inequality, y is less than 1 half x plus 4. So if we plug in 4 for x, we get 1 half 4 plus 4. And for y, we get 0. Is this true? Is the right side greater than the left side? So 1 half 4 is 2, plus 4 is 6, and that's greater than 0. So far, this point checks out. If we plug it in, into the other inequality, the same thing should happen. It should also be true. So we plug 4 in, we get 1 half times 4 plus 4. Is that greater than 0? And again, it is. We have 2 plus 4, which equals 6, and that's greater than 0. So this is the only point out of these four that when you plug them into both, you get two true statements, and that's how you know it's a solution. But also you can see in the graphing calculator is that darker shaded region. OK.